this is part two of the messages from Sound the Alarm, The Bridegroom is Coming from the Worry Princess. These messages have to come out. These are confirmation, more added confirmation to many of the dreams and warnings that has gone out. These, may these messages be encouraging to many of you as it has for me. Sound the alarm, the bridegroom is coming. The messages for the bride. The title of this one is called, Who is Like Me? Rejoice in me, for I am the only hope for the world. I set up kings, and I remove them according to my good purpose. The land is being battered, and this is only the beginning. Soon all the land will be covered in sorrow, deep sorrow, as I remove all the children from this darkness. Parents who are not ready and are, and are left behind will grieve with sadness like the world has never known. For every child and every innocent will be gone in a flash. Now is the time to be in prayer as events are now coming at warp speed. There is so much deceit in the world and evil has greatly increased. Except for my lights who are filled with the Holy Spirit, the world has gone completely dark. Spiritual darkness covers the world but soon it will manifest in the physical. Know this, my own will be completely protected and taken care of. I lead a massive army, the strongest army that, that exists or will ever exist, and they will be victorious. I am the commander, and I command all the heaven's resources. Who is like me? Who is like the Father? Who is like the Holy Spirit? Who can stand against us? No one. Our will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is a public message to warn of what lies just ahead. I love you, my love. All my children are greatly blessed through me and through that day that I shed my blood for all the sins of the world. Be at peace, for soon I will hold each of you. This is your beloved Savior, Jesus Christ, and your Redeemer. The next message. Do not be distracted. I am mighty, my love, and I see all. I see much evil in the world, but I also see my children. Mine will stand out like a light on a hill that even those far away will see and be drawn to. How sweet is the coming harvest. It is massive. Many will bow the knee during the three days of darkness. The seed that my own have planted will spring to life as the Holy Spirit waters them and brings them to remembrance. Oh, the power of what has been sown shall spring up as a mighty harvest. You will dance and rejoice in the harvest field as you walk alongside me and my angels. We shall direct your every step. A glorious time is upon you. Do not be distracted in this late hour, but keep a watch, for I come and am in the air in my warrior gear to retrieve my bride. I am the ultimate prince, Charming. And uh, warrior princess puts in quotes, felt smiles here from Jesus as as I said this last phrase, she goes back. Now post this private and public. Thank you for your obedience this morning. You set out your first fruit. This is good, my love. Thank you. The next message, titled, Be Ready to Receive. This is the public message, my love. The end comes now. All things are merging, the spiritual with the physical. A new thing is about to happen. It is a new day, and I am moving mightily among my children. I will align them, set them in rows, equip them, train them, and they will go out like an incredible army that is unstoppable. 
They move into the harvest fields now to be my hands and feet like no time before. I am about to empower those who have become an empty vessel. I will fill them with my living water directly from the river of life. The water will transform you and empower you even this day. I have opened the floodgates. Be ready to receive. Be in prayer. Sacrifice and obey. I am the king, and I am about to do something in your day, even if you would not believe. Who can know me? Who can contain me? The answer is my bride. She is the one who is intimate with me. I love her. I am hers, and she is mine. That's the ending of that message. Many confirmation of some dreams that I have shared with you guys. I will be posting it below. For those of you that want to watch the messages for the bride, some of the dreams that I have shared with you guys, please click the link below on the description box. Here's the next message for the bride. Transformation is upon you is the title. My child, I love you. Transformation is upon you. You will be transformed and go out and harvest and rescue people, both literally and spiritually. Here is what Warrior Princess says in quotation. She had a question. She says, I asked, what about our training? And I heard back that, we'll, that we will be trained in another dimension. And here is a message that Yahusha said to her, Yahusha Jesus. You will be perfectly trained for your kingdom assignments. You will see the help I have put in place. Your warrior angels, they will assist you. You will walk in your transformed bodies for three days, and then I will call your name. The warrior princess now asks a question. I asked, what? Did I hear this right? And then I heard, you have seen it, my love, the three steps, you know you know you walked up those three steps in your glorified body three days three days three days i don't know what the three days means but i also heard the countdown has begun here's the vision that she received i saw a woman in water that was a few inches over her head she was bobbing up and down to catch air. She was only able to raise her head above the water for only a short time to catch her breath. As she was able to get her head above the water, she was able to see Jesus standing right there above the water. I couldn't see Jesus, but I knew it was him. Then I saw her take off swimming, and she was able to keep her head completely out of the water. Then she leaped up out of the water forcefully and was walking on top of the water in an instant. Could this be the transformation into our glorified bodies? She was wearing a white tunic with white pants and was completely dry. End the vision. I could not see the woman's face or hair, but I knew it was a woman. Here's another vision she had, and this is in 2015. I saw more clarity of the vision of the girl in the water this morning, and it was breathtaking. I saw Jesus reach down his hands to the girl in the water, and she walked out of the water upon three white steps. As she walked on those steps, she was instantly dressed in this beautiful gown that was completely dry. She also had beautiful white shoes on. Then I saw her hair, and her hair was long with slight waves in it, and it draped over the front of her dress. It was blonde with multiple shades with light shining on it, or through it, hard to describe. I saw her eyes, they were beyond beautiful with many colors that sparkled brown, green, yellow, and she was indescribably beautiful, handcrafted by the father, just the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. The end of the vision. Here's another message titled, 
watch the sky's cosmic event. My child, events are very close. The cosmic event will cause the sky to glow and turn red, and everyone on the face of the earth will see this phenomenon. This is your warning to get others to stay indoors and be prepared for the coming earthquake and darkness. My father holds the timing for this. Once this starts, it will issue a chain reaction all over the world. Your peace and calm will be a rare commodity, as you will know your redemption is near. There will be a lot of fear upon the earth, but what will be unleashed upon the face of the earth will be horrific. You have been trained to expect this, and you will be trained in your kingdom assignment in another dimension. When you see the door, walk through it. I'm going to repeat that part. You have been trained to expect this, and you will be trained in your kingdom assignment in another dimension. When you see the door, walk through it. Until then, prepare your heart and as many others as possible. Some will listen, but many will not. But they will remember what you said and search for you and search your records where possible. Do not fret. I will be with you for I come in the storm. I love you, my child. Rejoice for you are mine. She received um, a message, very short. Events will kick off when you see the red skies. Watch the skies. Here is the next message for the bride. The title, The Day of Transformation is Upon You. My child, write this. The Day of Transformation is Upon You. Rejoice now, for the life you knew in this body is coming to an end. No more sickness or injury. Death cannot touch you. Only life everlasting is yours now for all eternity. Indeed, I did pick you for this very hour to herald my return, to love me with all your heart and to pray for each other. You are a very elite group that was chosen before the foundation of the earth. Oh, my darling, I can't wait to bestow this gift upon you. Remember how Cinderella was transformed? She, and then she puts in quotation, smiling. So beautiful. I see, and then she says uh, in this little quote, I see Cinderella twirling with a sparkly mist all around her as she is transformed. And then now she continues with the message. You will be transformed in the twinkling of an eye wrapped in my glory. You will sparkle more than the sun. Oh, I can't wait to hear your your squeals of delight, my love. I have reserved this for you and your friends in this very late hour. Stay at your post. It is nearly here. You may share this privately and publicly for all my bride. My bride is beautiful beyond compare, and I am thanking my father for her. The next message, titled, The Storm is Approaching. The time is very short, my love. Look to the skies. Soon the mists will fall and you will be changed. These trials are being kept to a minimum. Once you and your family are in your new bodies, the enemy will have no access or power over you. Nothing and no one will be able to harm you. Those who are not transformed in the first call will go through many trials, but you and my bride will help them and will show them the way home. There is a vast harvest ready for my workers. Look across the fields. There are fields in every nation to be harvested. My workers have assignments and will be strategically placed in each nation. Some already live where their assignments will be, and others will be transported across the world to their assignments. Be ready, my love. The storm is approaching, but I come in the storm so rejoice. Soon, my love, very soon. I love you so much. I would die all over again for only one of my children. 
all my children are so precious in my sight. Use my name, my love, to fight through these final trials. The breaking of the dawn is upon you. The next message. A new wind is about to blow. A new wind is about to blow, my love. Hurricane force. For those who are not ready for me, it will be a destructive wind that brings judgment. For those who are mine, the wind will be a refreshing wind. And in it is my power and glory. Those of mine will be changed into their glorious body when this wind engulfs them. Soon it will blow. My bride is perfectly protected from all that will come upon the land, specifically upon the United States. The countdown has begun and very few grains of sand remain to fall in the hourglass. Be ready at all times, for you know not the day this will happen. The wind is shifting, my love. The storm clouds bring rain. For some, this storm will be brutal and destructive. For others, this storm will be a refreshing wind. Which side are you on? Are you ready to receive more of me to be changed in an instant? Surely this will happen sooner than you think. Watch for the approaching storm. Next message. Treasures this time. My love, treasure this time. You still have opportunity to seek me and draw closer to me. Don't waste a single moment. What you don't realize is how near I am to picking up my bride. She is beyond beautiful to me, and I can't wait to have her in my arms. Yes, the King of Kings is waiting too, and I have waited a very long time for you and all of my bride. I know you want to come home. I know you want to escape all the evil in this world. I know you have needs and are waiting for the new body very soon, very soon. Just use your time wisely and remember to keep me first in all things. I know you cannot see freely the path. Some of the path is hidden from you, but will be revealed in the last moments before you are transformed. There is an extravagant feast being, being prepared for your arrival. You and all of my bride will dine with me at my table, and there will be so much joy in heaven. But if you look through the veil to the earth, you will see weeping and mourning of those left behind. So the moment is very bittersweet, but it must be this way. Hearts will not turn without calamity at this point. I seek all hearts now to come to me, but my children that are left behind will walk through a very dark and treacherous path. It is the only way to save their eternity. So I say again, to use your time wisely, pray now for the left behind and for Israel. Everything is in place now for the kickoff. You will know, and there will be no mistaking it. You will soon be with me. Know this too. Your ball gown is already pressed and hanging, awaiting your arrival. Dress for a king, you shall be my love, and your beauty will surpass all. This is all for now. Publish this for my bride. Next message for the bride, titled, Evil Increases, But I Am Present. You will not know what the day is until it is upon you, my child, and then there will be no mistake in it. Hold on a little longer. It is very, very, very soon. Hold on to my every word, for it will come to the past. There will be more senseless killings in the world as evil increases, but I assure you, that I am there with my children, helping them, comforting them, and bringing them into my kingdom. Nothing escapes my watchful eye. I know what will happen before it ever happens, and I move my angels into place beforehand. For you see, I know whose time it is to come home and whose time it is to remain on the earth. It is not half a sard, for I control what happens and who is where. I see the greater good and the ripple effects and I know exactly what it will take to turn a heart to me, and even an entire city. More evil will take the center stage, but I will prevail. Soon, my love, evil will be put in its place, 
is time is short and my time is forever. I will reign with peace and justice and my kingdom will reign forever. Next message. Titled, My glory awaits you. Surely, my child, glory awaits you. But first the shaken, the first event, and then you will be transformed into my light. I am the light of the world. My children carry the same light. Soon the switch will be flipped and you will shine brighter than the brightest star, for you will be filled with my glory. Your higher calling awaits you, my love, and all of my children. I cannot give you timing, my love, for strategy is involved, but I can tell you it is very soon, and you will be delighted. You will dance around filled with so much joy when you are transformed. Although this will be so wonderful, times are extremely dark and you don't realize how dark as I have your eyes covered by the veil. This is for your benefit so that you might live freely in me. You are my children and I can't tell you everything yet, but soon you will understand. My love is about to pour over you. My love in you will work the greatest harvest of all time by my side. Do you understand the times you are in? The greatest of times. Such amazing times awaits my bride. Keep your eyes on your groom for I will not disappoint. My bride is my gift from the Father. You were each made individually for me. For only each of you can fill the special place in my heart that you were created to fill. Each of you are unique and so special. An individual masterpiece handcrafted by my Father. Every imperfection in this body will be glorified and you will be perfect, perfect for me. The King of Kings, I am so anxious too, my love. It is sooner than you think. Next message, titled, Much is about to happen. My love, Today is a good day. You know my voice. Follow the instructions. I will be given you in the upcoming days. Soon you will walk in your new body and will no longer struggle. You will know my will in every step you should take. You will have no fear except the fear of the Lord. My goodness shall cover you and you will be bathed in my glory. Much is about to happen. Once things start, everything will move quickly. It is all scripted for victory. Worry not. All will be glorious for my bride of what you are a part of. The cares of this world try to choke me out of my people's lives. They are so busy running here and there, worry over this and that, that they fail to seek me. They fail to know me. And if they do not know me, they cannot trust me when the darkness falls. I have called and called to my lost children. Many have turned a deaf ear and will endure the terror of what is coming. This is not what I wanted for them, but their hearing will be restored when everything crashes around them. Then they will hear my voice and call out to me for salvation. What a horrible road they have to walk, but it is the only way to secure their salvation in eternity with me. I would that all would come now and escape what is to come upon the earth. My catching away of my bride will be bittersweet. My love, bittersweet. The choice has been made. So many are lost. Pray for them and for those that will have to endure what is coming. Soon, my love, soon, my love, you are not wrong in what you are hearing. It is very soon. Eyes on me your first love. I love you, my child. I love you, my darling. Soon we dance. Next message. Children, awaken. No eye has seen, nor ear heard all that I have planned for my children. Many will weep at what is coming. It must come as there is no other way to turn men's hearts. There is a huge battle waging for the souls of men, and it will intensify daily and especially 
after my children are removed who carry my Holy Spirit. Children, awaken. Stop living like there is a tomorrow. Everything is about to change about this world, and it will grow exceedingly dark. My children, be my light while the light still shines. Some of you will be my light during the darkness hour, and some will rest in heaven. Everyone has a heavenly purpose, and all are needed to serve in their role. Do not look at someone else's role and say, I want that role. For the role you have is assigned by my Father, and it is needed and valuable to my kingdom. Do not worry about what is to come on the earth, but rejoice that you have a place in heaven with me. Nothing on earth of the greatest grandeur can compare to one acre of heaven. Heaven is where you should store up your treasures because all earthly treasures will vanish. My word and what I have spoken will all come to pass. Fasten your seatbelts for the ride of your life is about to begin. I love you, my darling. Soon I come for you, very soon. Deliver this message publicly as a reminder of what men should be seeking in these last hours. Some are deceived in thinking there's more time for them to chase earthly treasures. That time is over. The kingdom is now come. May the Father's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Next message. Title, Destruction is Upon You. My child, write these words and listen carefully. Destruction is upon you. It is upon your world just as in the days of Noah. Know this, I will rescue you. I will rescue my children. The fallen have heinous, heinous plans. Some of my children will fall into these plans because they were not ready. What is coming upon the earth will cause worldwide panic. Many will flock to the new world order for help, but what they offer is death. In some cases, a slow, painful death, and in other cases, a quick death. It is so important for everyone to be ready now, for you know not the hour when judgment will fall. Major cities will be destroyed. There will be rubble everywhere and death everywhere. My bride will shine brightly during this time and rescue many. You will perform miracles of provision and healing. You will tell them of the wonders and beauty of heaven you will sing them to sleep in the darkness. My child, these words are heavy, but they must be said. The people need to be warned. Yes, I would rather talk to you about being with me in heaven and all that awaits you. But I must also tell you of the horror that is about to come upon this earth. For my children perish for lack of knowledge. It is coming, but they refuse to believe it. They refuse to wake up. Soon, they will wake up to a nightmare that never ends. This is why we must reach them now. We must reach them now. We must. This is very urgent. There is so much work to do. Do not worry. My love, you are fully equipped for the harvest of souls. You will be fully dressed in battle gear and wrapped in my glory. Eyes on me, my love. The hour is very late. These are the messages that was given to Warrior Princess. Valuable messages for the time that we are living in right now. In Isaiah it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. In Romans 10, 14 through 15 it says, how then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? Without someone preaching to them. And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Hallelujah. Daniel 12, 3. 
Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. In Revelation 1, 8, it says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says Jehovah, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Hallelujah to that. I hope that you guys are encouraged with these messages as I was. May Elohim bless you. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Matthew 24, verse 37 through 39.